Hello guys and welcome back to another Pokatorio video. My name's Ben, I hope you're doing well. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, and the way this has come about was on my personal Twitch channel, um, I have sort of Twitch redeem points and stuff like that where people can open up Pokemon booster packs, Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs, uh, Dragon Ball Z, stuff like that, um, like we've showed on this channel previously. And what the guys wanted me to do over there was they um, requested a pack opening. So what I did was I was talking about nostalgia and stuff like that and we was most people was like, well, I watch Yu-Gi-Oh, I watch Pokemon, I watch Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, stuff like that. Um, so we ended up, I went to the shop, I had a look, see what I could get. It, with these times it was tough to, to sort of see what was available and I managed to pick up a legendary duelist Rage of Bra booster box. Ring Dragon of Bra! So that is what we are opening today. Um, it was recorded all on the Twitch channel, so it's not live or I'm not doing it now, but I'll show you the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, is it something you more want us to see, more live pack openings? We can do them exclusively here on the YouTube channel as opposed to a separate entity. Um, but let's get down into that video and yeah, enjoy guys and I shall see you shortly. Today we're going to be opening the Legendary Duelist Rage of Ra. We're going to be doing it in two sections, obviously the first half of the booster box and the second. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of the video and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it. So what we're going to be doing today is Legendary Duelist Rage of Ra. There's five cards per pack, 36 packs per box, one rare card in every pack. There's a Ghost Rare. Card. I saw your camera shaking, thought it was mine. Yeah. I'm not I keep knocking it, I need to stop. That's the front of the box. Side of the box. So 30 common, 10 rares, 8 super rare, 9 ultra rare cards. There's the website. And this other side, and there is the bottom. So shall we get into it? Be able to bloody open it now. A few moments later. Let's see how it goes. So we've got one pole there. And this pole here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12. Yeah, there we go. So we'll take one from there. Big Macca, hello, how are you? Big boy pulls today, let's hope so. So we'll save this for after. Now. Top loaders, we got the sleeves. So I think the Patrick's just straight through. I don't think there's um, there's any sort of Patrick to it. So let's just get into it. So this is the pack. So you got Obelisk Tormentor, Wing Dragon Ara. And like I said, five cards in every pack, so they're relatively small packs. So let's move you down a bit. So let's get into it and see, see what happens. So we have a Resolute Mech Lord Army, a Chaos Infinity, a Mech Lord Astro Dragon Asterisk, Mech Lord Army of Wissel. And a Mound of the Bound Creator for the rare card. There's no holographic in the first pack. The second pack, let's get into it. So I imagine that the stream's going to be probably say an hour long. 
and then the video will be broken up to to um, go onto the YouTube. So there's no Patrick. Mechlord, Emperor Skeel, Jinzo Jector, Jinzo Lord, a Psychic Bounder Holographic, and a Everlasting Alloy Spell Card. So we have got a holographic for that one. I will get them sleeved up later on. But I'll just keep them in the sleeves for now. So we've got a holographic in that one as well as the rare card, which is always nice. So hopefully we get some get some good pulls here. got a Mechlord Emperor Grainel, Resolute Mechlord Army, Token Sunday, Jinzo the Machine Menace, which is a very nice card, holographic, it's what we want, and a Mechlord Astro the Eradicator. I do like the names of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're, they're very different to, to what you get in the other, well the Dragon Ball Z ones were a bit bit different as well you can go in a um, I should have got the, the set list up to see what you know which were the, the most decent ones to pull obviously the ghost cards the one we want they're always super long aren't they yeah mechlord empress skill Mechlord Army of Skill, Jinzo Returner, Metal Reflect Slime, and a Mound of the Bound Creator. Because it's a small set, I think we are going to get quite a few, um, quite a few duplicates. But then, what? so there's 30 common, 10 rares, eight super rares, nine ultra rare, and then the ghost card, the ghost rare, as they're called. So. There, what we want. Mechlord Emperor Grainel, Mechlord Fortress, Token Sunday, Psychic Shockwave, a Cyber Energy Shock. Oh, did I miss a card there? Oh no, five cards. So. The more we get through without these rares and holographics, hopefully, for all means we've got a better chance of pulling one as we go along. So we have a Jurigido, Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, Mechlord Emperor Grainor, the True Name spell card, and an Everlasting Alloy. I have a feeling that is a, a nice little card to have. So we'll get you sleeved up. Pop you there. We will recap what we've opened. And I think with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you get, you get a lot. There's been a lot of releases in the Japanese um, side of it recently, so I'm excited to see what what they bring out in the English. We have another Jurigido, Mechlord Astro, Dragon Asterisk, a Mechlord Nucleus Infinity Core Holographic. It's a nice card, and a Makoira the Destructor. To end that one, just getting them sleeved up. And if you're watching on the video, I will put the prices up um, on the screen as well for anything nice that are pulled. So we have a Chaos Infinity Holding Arms. Mechlord Army of Skill, a Millennium Revelation spell card, it's a nice card, 
and a, a wild monster appears. That's a very sort of descriptive name for a card, isn't it? So we're about halfway through the first first bunch. Still got a bit to go yet. We have an amplifier, a Jinzo Jector, Mind Control, Mechlord Emperor Weasel, and a Psychic Mega Cyber, which no holographic, but it's the rare card for the pack. Weirdest name I've heard. Yeah, there is some um, peculiar, peculiar names in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards there was some in the dragon ball ones that we opened as well that was quite quite peculiar so again we have an amplifier mech lord astro mech mechanical we'll go with that metal reflect slime mech lord fortress a cyber energy shock for that one with jinzo in the background so there's a lot of um, a lot based on jinzo in this deck Have a Jinzo Lord, Mech Lord Emperor Weasel, Token Stampede, Mech Lord Army of Skill, and a Psychic Mega Cyber again. So we are getting quite a few duplicates in this one. And we will set up something where you know you can redeem your token points, something like that for for a pack, um, not your token points, your channel points, stuff like that. We'll work out something like that the more the more we go. So we have another holding legs, another token stampede, brain control, blaze cannon, holographic spell card, which is nice, and a mechlord deflection. I don't know how if you're guaranteed so many sort of hollows or rares, super rares, ghost rares, whatever. In a box, I think the, for a ghost ray, you're looking at one in every four boxes. I think so. We have a Mechlord Army of Granol, Mechlord Astro Dragon Asterisk, Reboot, Ra's Disciple, nice, is it sign? And a Mechlord Astro the Eradicator. So we have a Jinzo the Returner, Mind Control, Psychic Shockwave, Jinzo, Everlasting Alloy for that one. I keep forgetting there are only five cards per pack, so I'll run through them and then just get bewildered when uh, there's nothing at the back. I'm absolutely destroying the, pack, the packs on these. So another Mechlord Army of Whistle, Holding Legs, Monster Reborn, Jinzo Returner, and the Cyber Energy Shock. So I'm guessing the holographic is the one before the, the last one. It's that one. That's what it looks like anyway. So we have a Token Sunday. Mechlord Astro Mechanical, Jinzo Lord, Jinzo, and another Everlasting Alloy. Going to be sick of Jinzo by the time um, this finishes. And then Holding Arms, Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, Reboot. Sun God Unification Holographic and a Mechlord Deflection. So it's not quite last pack magic, but last but one for the first half of the opening anyway. So last pack 
for, for this half of the video. If you watch it on YouTube, we have got the rest to open up on live on stream. So it's let, hopefully a bit of last, last pack magic. We have a Mechlord Astro Mechanical, Jinzo, Mechlord Army of Granol, a Token Stampede, and a Cosmos Channeling for that one. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that pack opening. I know it's something a bit different, so let me know in the comment section down below if it is more stuff that you want to see from us, either A, more live pack openings, or B, different types of cards, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Digimon, all that sort of stuff that, that we may have discussed before. Let me know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see from us. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video, um, and don't forget to press that subscribe button to let us know when all our videos are released. We've got some exciting stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I shall see you next week.